It is my intention to offer the opportunity for people who come to this show to go deep inside themselves in a playful and yet slightly serious way. So since we did the filming in the desert about six months ago, the CD ceremony came out and almost immediately it's become an extraordinary internet phenomenon. In the second week of release it got to number one in the US world charts and um, also in Canada and a number of territories have been added. I think initially it was four territories now over 26 countries have got ceremony out in their territory. There's over 50,000 uh, followers on a Facebook page that started only six months ago, almost at a rate of 10,000 a month. And we are just, uh, have been stunned, amazed and uh, really grateful for the extraordinary response that has allowed us to start thinking bigger. What's next for the Ceremony Project is um, Ceremony Live. And it's not just a normal concert, it's not just me playing um, on a stage in front of an audience being lit by electricity. This is uh, what we call uh, immersive entertainment. I'm um, currently playing a series of shows at uh, a place called the Vortex Immersion Dome in downtown Los Angeles, which is a sort of semi-temporary building. It looks like a dome. It looks just actually like the Integratron where I recorded the album. The technology that we use here came out of uh, military simulation and training. And uh, basically they needed to surround, uh, simulate being surrounded by a huge uh, field of view from a cockpit of a jet aircraft or a helicopter or whatever. And um, <clears throat> what we did in the mid 90s was take that technology into planetariums, digital planetariums. So now what Vortex is involved with is taking th this immersive projection technology from the planetariums into mainstream entertainment markets means that you are surrounded literally by um, what you're coming to experience so the opportunity of um, connecting with it at a much deeper level because you're in it so you're not watching something that's outside of yourself you're actually experiencing something that's that you're in the middle of um, because the sound is are all around you and the visuals are all around you I feel that immersive entertainment is definitely the entertainment of the future. We are um, so sophisticated now with, um, we're used to seeing HD, now we're seeing four times better than HD, and, now, and the next thing is to be in the entertainment.
I think that in, this, in these modern, fast times, again, speaking for myself, I'm not very good at sitting down first thing in the morning and quieting my mind and, and uh, feeling peace and empathy and equanimity for myself and all things. But I'm very good at doing it in, in, a, in an immersive dome with the most mind-blowingly beautiful, three-dimensional, uh, it's like being inside a kaleidoscope at the same time listening to music that seems to symbiotically be connected so that the visual is its sonic twin and the sonic is the visual twin. So you're listening to two modalities, to two of your senses are, are seeing something so different that are completely uh, um, symbiotically connected, that are complementary to each other. It's got a beautiful shape and uh, a beautiful sound and it's not easy to make and there's an element of magic. It's like, how the heck does it sound like that anyway? And then when it's played, it just starts to sound like um, this watery, peaceful sound of love. I think it's a little bit like a violin that takes so long to make, is that there's something so beautiful about the look of it, the feel of it, the sound of it, the story behind it the love that it took to make, and it's just the whole package. So we're very, very excited with uh, the future. I've got, uh, I do play every, every two weeks, um, a residency that's going on all the way through to the end of the year and possibly into next year. And then our bigger plans are to tour America in a, a geodesic dome that can travel like a circus tent and that we can take immersive entertainment to the rest of the United States. And then eventually we want to go to every territory that the record is out in and then eventually have our own show in Las Vegas where we can then do a show that will really give people something new, immersive entertainment that speaks to the highest part of who you are and that feeds your imagination and your soul and your dreams in a way that I think is entirely new, a new paradigm of entertainment that's both fun but also healing. <laughs>